There were leadership elections this week for the new Congress, and uh, questions asked of Mrs. Pelosi um, by the, the press in the briefing afterwards about uh, the freshness of the leadership team, whether or not there needed to be younger voices in a, a group of leaders, many of whom are over 70. Um, I'm wondering what you're thinking about the institution you're leaving behind and the leadership team that has as an aspiration the majority again. Are they equipped for it? Well, I think they are equipped, but I also think we have a lot of talented younger members. Um, and it's not just, by the way, Miss, uh, Mrs. Pelosi. I think she's been a great leader. I mean, and she is really good at raising money. Uh, that's not one of my fortes. I was never good at that. But they have to start training younger people and bring younger people into uh, the caucus uh, to become, hopefully, the future leaders. Uh, one of the things that I certainly believe with all my heart and soul, you have to know when to leave. And uh, Nancy obviously does not feel that this is the time to leave. Many of us thought that she might stay for, you know, maybe uh, this coming year and then hopefully turn the reins over to someone else. But when I look around, is anybody really ready to replace her? I mean, it's, it's, it's a hard job. And I give her a lot of credit for what she's been able to do. But I think it's time that the leaders, you know, start looking at who's going to fill my spot. You know, we're all replaceable. Uh, there might be some bumps in the road, but uh, I do always believe that it's time for you know, younger people to take our spots uh, with fresh ideas and new ways of uh, doing things. I, I see nothing wrong with that. That's a progression. That's a normal progression.